I have told many people, including my own pastors, Pastor Trop, I have told many people, including my own pastors, you wear a tie here. When you are on the pulpit, for five minutes, people are, are not listening to you. They are actually looking at what? Your tie. You wear a, a black, a black shirt and a black tie and you are coming on stage going out to the what? To the, to the, to the media. It, it, it doesn't go like that. It doesn't go like that. I mean, some of us who are taught professional aid, a bit of it in, a, in, a, in a, the law school before we came out and it has served uh, I have uh, very many uh, issues that you tell. I, I can't move out of. Uh, is Moses here? He has, he has stepped up. I can't move out of my house if my wife doesn't approve. She will shut the door. <laughs> you remember the, 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 the muse with the socks? Eh? Those kind of things. It's important. It's important that we, you, 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 you look who you are as a professional. Eh? Sometimes you find people going professional. I mean, I'm sure that you are in a casual place. You are wearing a cap like what? Eh? That one you should not wear any time anyway. The other thing I, I, I saw and, uh, and I have seen, the coat labels. You bought a, a, a suit. For the rest of the, the life of that suit, your label is on. Becky, that was a very nice question. I acknowledge receipt of your email. I will respond shortly. Katias. Katias and, uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, and it helps. No, I didn't come here to respond to that. That's wonderful, uh, uh, Lynette. I have two uh, questions and I've requested for permission to respond to them because I'm rushing for another appointment. In a word, what is the difference between a bribe and a tip? <laughs> what is the difference between a bribe and a tip? You know what we are talking about, isn't it? There are, there are some, some, what do they call them? Uh, 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 Phillies. So, I mean, some offices, they, they, they have, in some organizations, they have, uh, they have something, how they appreciate their what? Their clients, I, I can't remember the, 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 the appropriate term. You've got to be extremely, extremely careful about what you give, as a gift or what. When I was in the office as CJ, everything I was given I had, if it was more than 20,000 shillings, I had to surrender it. Whether it is a tip or what, I actually went to some country I don't want to name, and I was given a very beautiful uh, watch. Later on, I was told that it was more than 500,000. I surrendered it to the judiciary. I surrendered it. They were appreciating me and all that, but you know, it becomes, uh, when, when people want to bribe you, Eh? They, will, they will come in the name of what? Of a tip. Or when you want to, to, to bribe somebody and you are going to in the name of a tip, many people will differentiate and will be able to, to understand what that means. In reality, what does it mean to stand up for what is right? What challenges have you faced? I faced very many challenges. Some of them are common knowledge. I had uh, budget cuts and things like those. I had, uh, I was, uh, is there an insult which was not uh, hurled at, at me? Yeah, those kind of things, you have got to, to do that. The, one of the greatest challenges I have, uh, I have had, you saw a clip uh, doing the rounds where I spoke somewhere. And I said, what is, your, what is my price? Some people didn't take it kindly. I went to an international conference, I don't want to say where. 
And the message I got from that conference is that I projected myself as being holier than, than thou. Uh, and that is the last thing I had in my mind. So, I mean, I, I have kept, thereafter I've been asked about that and I've kept uh, emphasizing and saying that for me, to bribe me is demeaning. To me, it is demeaning. It's like you can buy me. Hmm? And I say that I have no price. You can't buy me. You cannot buy me and uh, uh, those kind of challenges. So, uh, take care when you have... Uh, um, somebody says, uh, but this, this is a comment. This is a comment you can say. It, truth is truth. Uh, and I should not, it should not be personal. Free will was afforded us as, re, as, re, as recorded by the keynote speaker. Since truthfully, there is no life in choosing sin. Isn't God a serving dictator? That I think is a comment. How, um, how can you handle indecision in a career? After Canvas is still undecided on what career path to follow, even in the current position. Extremely, extremely difficult. Very, very dangerous in my view. Indecision. Indecision. One of the leadership books I read, and, I, and I'm not an expert in that, you, you listen to the experts, is that a decision, even a, bet, a bad decision, is better than indecision. Because when you are uh, undecided, it creates a lot of problems. Of course, you want to make a good decision. Eh? You want to decide, you want to get enough time and material to make a decision. You need to do, to do that. But as an, an executive and as a person in a responsible position, where your word will give direction, you need to be uh, very, very quick in, uh, in, in answering or in making decisions. I think those were the, the questions. One other thing, uh, Lynette, I, I, I got or I, I, I picked from your presentation. My names are, yes, there is another one which come. I'm CJ Maraga. I'm Professor So and So. I'm Dr. So and So. Hi. <laughs> Unless it is, it is important that people know who you are. But to go, ad ad I mean, uh, uh, addressing or, or, or introducing yourself that I am Professor Swan sounds uh, what? Very, very arrogant. Thank you very much. I'm not an. <laughs>